All right, so we got something a little special for you today. Something a little bit different, actually. And this is a tool that is not sponsored, first of all. Something I wanted. I'm going to show you why I wanted it. This is something everybody wants to buy, but most people don't. So today we're going to be using this tool to inspect your catalytic converters. All right, so I don't really have any kind of stand in this little shop anymore to put my camera on. So we're just going to kind of have to wing it. Now, I got this off Amazon. I'll put a link below. Even though, like I said, it's not sponsored, we're just doing, well, if this company isn't total junk, we'll do them a, we'll do them a solid. If not, we'll tell them all about it. And this is from any kit. You know, who freaking knows? It's got the China stamp approval. Yes, it does. Right there. All right, got to have that. Hello, focus. 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 There. Interesting. So I almost got one. Whoop, or something fell out. Hang on to that. It's all in Chinese. Like everything you buy is gonna be in Chinese. That's to pay like $2,000 for it, right? So I'm just curious to see. So there's a little canister with those little rings in it. Come on, camera, what are you even doing here? There you go. Mini USB. And then here's the main unit. Now, like I said, you could have got one to hook up to your phone, but I kind of wanted this. So it does, it's supposed to take an SD card. That thing's heavy, man. It's supposed to be able to record. I don't know. We're gonna have to do a little inspecting here. Okay, so got turned on here. This is looking at it. It does have an SD card in it. It has a 16 gig SD card in it. And it has a charge point. Are you gonna focus or what's what's even the situation here? Are you gonna focus? This is the new camera, so geez. There it is. So 16 gig, and this has a rechargeable battery that charges off that cord, all right? Okay. So the reason why I got this one, see how small this end is, and you could actually get different ends for it. And, what the hell? I don't know, there we go. Um, so it's easily small enough to fit in a spark plug hole or go down into your exhaust, and it's not a large diameter. So, uh, we already got the screen on here. This is supposed to be like the fullest H HD image you get, but who knows? It looks good. So we got a light on top that turns the light on this. We're gonna have to figure out how to turn the light on that. Okay. So right here is a light button. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. There we are. Got three different settings. You got all your record button right there. You never wanna leave these on there because if you leave those on there too long, that adhesive's hard to get off. The quality does look good. Here we'll shoot us a, a video of herself. I mean, it's not bad. Don't know if it's quite what they're saying it was, uh, it's pretty decent, pretty decent. So, all right, well, let's pull the oxygen sensor out of this car. I think these are a real pain in the butt. No, these are easy. The back one's pain in the butt, the front one's easy. We'll shift this tank over a little bit. We're gonna pull the oxygen sensor out and we're gonna see. And the whole reason why I bought this, I suspect the catalytic converters in this car are stopped up and that's what's causing a wide open throttle because there is no other issue, right? Um, it just dies out. It sounds like the valve train's kind of fluttering at top end. Weird. Uh, but this one, also the E39, we'll be looking at that in the future. 
and if we have anything in spec that has issues in the cylinder we can look in that and if, if our shitter pipe gets clogged up in the house we got 16 foot of 16 foot of cord here I guess we could run it down there not that I would really want to do that uh, not only that we could look inside the wall of stuff should be interesting let's get to it right now and look at this come on come on there it has a little hook and this one has a little mirror on it that reflects back up so you could actually look at the valves in the cylinder and it's all way small enough to get in the cylinder that that's interesting it says it has a full battery too so we're gonna see all right we're almost there let's go ahead and pull the oxygen sensor out all right so here's the oxygen sensor it doesn't look bad it looks like it's burning appropriately I mean, it's not all crazy or anything and we got that baby out so let's go ahead and set up the camera let's get her fish down in there and see what we got all right so my proctology is am here and you can see the honeycomb of the cali converter I'm moving it all around here i don't see anything broken for say It's really hard to tell. I'm just trying to push it down as close as I get it. It doesn't look bad, but you can't really, it's probably hard to see on this video. I'm just trying a few different things here. Light off one and light two. Almost got to have it on three. The problem is when these are stopped up, they have like a white residue on the face of them. And just to clarify, this is where we're at. We're right down in here, down the hole, and we just turn it in so it goes that way. And um, that's interesting. Very interesting. Just trying to get right down on top of it the damn shop lights from reflecting in it I mean nothing's broken the problem is when they're broken usually they're broken on the back side the only way we could tell on this car is take the collector gaskets off um, but to be honest if I'm gonna take that off you know what we're gonna do I don't have to even say it we're gonna knock them out um, but I'd rather not, I'd rather have to not do that if at all possible. Now, on the E39, remember, I was gonna knock them out on that, but the way the collector came up and it turned real hard, but these are not that way, these are a straight shot. These would be really easy to get out. Um, they go up in there and it's a straight shot, so we go up there with like a big long drill bit. I don't know where it's even at, somewhere over there, and you can see it land the windowsill. It's like a foot long and just go up there at the drill and drill them out until you get all the product out but it's a nasty job i don't like doing it um and i don't want to do it unless they're bad but i don't see anything with this scene that they're actually bad i'm gonna put the camera down for a minute i'm gonna go ahead and keep looking in there so i got two hands if i come across anything i'll let you know here in just one second it's still very hard to tell, but here's a close-up. I did figure out if you push down on this thing right here, let me try to get focused on it, it'll flip sides. And if you push up, it'll zoom in. But, I mean, it's still... That's about the best shot of it right there. And it's all reflecting. It's hard to see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I mean, there's no holes stopped up that I could see but like I said it's always this thing's all jacked up now there we go it's always like caked up all the way through if it's really bad and really stopped up it's gonna have a cake of white stuff on the on the leading edge of it and that seems not to be the case now we are having uh catalytic converter codes efficiency below threshold which means limited flow 
Now, if we knock those out, we're going to have dependency of both thresholds. We're going to have to put some kind of non-fowlers on the rear oxygen sensors to fool them just a little bit to get them out of the stream. That's not a big deal. Like I said, I don't want to have to do this unless we absolutely have to. Uh, I'm really happy with this thing though. So now we could do our proctology exams. We got a little mirror. We can look at valves and cylinders. Uh, overall, I think it's well worth a hundred bucks. You're saying a hundred bucks. Yeah, but that really wasn't, I didn't want to buy something that was junk for 30. And I think that's what our other options were. So I don't know. Okay. So that pretty much sums that up. I mean, it didn't really tell us everything we need to know, but we know it's not totally stopped up. Um, the rear oxygen sensor up front is tremendously more difficult to get out. Uh, we'll have to pull the cowling and everything. Uh, I didn't want to really get into that right now, but that gives us an idea of what's happening with it and that nonsense. So hopefully we get this thing totally sorted out because it's just, it runs good now, but it's got some funky issues still at wide open throttle. Other than wide open throttle, it runs great. Everything's been replaced. We're either down to a wiring issue or those Cali converters. And, you know, who freaking knows? Who knows? That's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Back tomorrow with another one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you soon.